Welcome back. Well, this week we are celebrating World Kindness Day. There are lots of reasons why you should be kind, of course. It might seem obvious, but there are some also some health benefits for it. Joining us now is Dr. Michelle Essery, the owner of Full Well Neurofeedback and Counseling in Hoover. Let's talk more about this. Thanks for being with us today. Thanks for having me, Claire. So talk about the importance of being kind and really what it does for our minds and our bodies when we are kind to others. You know, there there's been so much research over the years and there are a ton of benefits apart from some of the physical benefits of it makes your body actually physically feel less stressed right like it helps you relieve some stress and it can actually make you feel less physically in pain so if you have a physical pain it can actually reduce your experience of that physical pain Um, but on the mental health side which obviously is where i lean a little bit more um there have been a lot of I guess a lot of instances where they have done research to show a reduction in symptoms of anxiety and depression. So quite literally, it it helps you to feel better both physically and emotionally, right? Reducing that anxiety, making you feel more connected to others. When you are focusing on others, it gets you outside of your own head. Um, and there seems to be evidence that it increases your life expectancy, like it makes you live longer. So there's a lot of benefits to being kind. I love that. I love that. Well, we have some tips to share with our viewers about really how to be kind. And some of them might seem obvious, but some, you know, might be a good reminder. Um, So we can talk about those. Um, Focusing on others, offering a helping hand, be there to listen, even sending care packages and stay connected. Um, If you want to touch on any of those and, and how they can benefit. Absolutely. I think all of those, you know, I said something a second ago about focusing on others. One of the huge benefits on focusing outside of ourselves is sometimes we can get kind of caught in the cycle of focusing on things that are going wrong or focusing on things that are going on in our heads. And one of the really good things to do to get outside of that is to focus on others and to think about what can you do for them? What can you do um, to help them in, in a positive way, not focusing on others because of the negative things, but focusing on what you can do to really engage with them. And what's really cool about thinking about something kind you can do for another person is it starts to kind of, one, it instigates that kind of creative thought, which gets you out of, again, that anxiety and depressive state. It is connecting. When we think about caring for another person, it makes us feel more connected to them. And then if we do something for them, it is connecting on both sides, right? Like we actually are connecting. I'll give an example. Today, I had like 30 minutes between two things. And I took a few minutes and thought about some of the important people in my life. And there are a lot of things you can do with that. You could send them a little note and be like, hey, I'm thinking of you. Or you could, you know, if you are a praying person, you could say a prayer for them and then let them know that you prayed for them. Or sometimes just sending like a little funny picture or a meme or something that's thoughtful, uh, depending on the person in your life, it can it can be really meaningful to do something small. And it can be even more meaningful the more thought you put into it. And the more you engage that creativity, the more you engage caring for another person, even if it's someone you don't know, but certainly the people you do, that can just build really positive things in your life and in theirs. I love that. And I, I think it can even be as simple as a text message. Um, yeah. You know, and I know one of the tips was uh, sending a care package, but I mean, it could be even just a little, a little happy or, um, right. or even a text message, something, something very simple, but I do think it goes a long way. As we look at some of these other tips, uh, expecting good things to stay positive and staying positive, smiling at others, complimenting others, saying yeah. thank you. And I'm sorry, which that could be huge. And the bonus is actually being kind to yourself. Uh, If you want to touch on any of those. Well, being kind to yourself is a big one. I think all of those are huge. Again, you're thinking outside of yourself, but you're also, again, with that building connection, there is, we, I think I've said this when, when I've talked with you before, but we have a social nervous system, right? Like our our nervous system responds to other people around us and we feel safer and we feel happier when we are more connected. And it's not something we always do naturally. And listening to other people, caring about other people, being kind to other people is actually the best way to make friends, to engage in relationship, to maintain friendships or build friendships in a deeper way. But I think going down to that bottom on being kind to yourself, right? Like that is a big deal. Sometimes we can be kind to others and be very critical of ourselves. 
And if that's true, it's really hard for us to really be kind to others, like really make it about them when we are feeling so critical of ourselves. That makes that can put a block in that relationship. And so being kind to yourself can mean a lot of things. It could simply be giving yourself permission to take a break or put up a boundary, or it could be something a little bit more like taking the time to work through the things that are hard in your life, to do some stress management, to really um, work on the things like heal from something that's happened negatively in your life, right? Like those things are very, very kind. Um, or it could be something simple like, you know what, today I am going to get that lunch that I really want. You know, I'm going to use, I'm going to use my lunch budget to get that today instead of eat this one I brought from home. That could be simple, but getting the things that show that you have value are really important. I love that. And such an important topic, World Kindness Day, of course. Uh, Michelle, we appreciate you joining us today to share some of your insight about that. Thank you so much. Glad I could be here. Thanks, Claire.